what's up guys recently i am really excited with the new laravel disk testing functionality which laravel has provided and i was just going through the process of you know setting it up and running a very basic test case to check whether my login works on this particular application and hence i decided why don't we make a you know episode out of it so let's you know start with the installation and i will write few very basic test cases which will test our login functionality all right so i have my app running on localhost port 8000 the first thing which i will need to do is composer install these um, packages so i install laravel dusk once it is done i will come back again okay so now i have laravel dusk installed so let's look at the procedure on how to configure the rest of the things which is very simple so we have done this now uh, it says we need to register our service provider but um, <coughs> we don't we should not do this in our app.php because you know that basically registers the um, you know service provider globally and that's something which we don't want um, because you know through dusk we do all kinds of you know user logins and everything so the best part is uh, let me just uncomment this this is something which i missed in my code so but we are not going to add it in our app.php instead as it says we are going to add this in our service provider so my app service provider is the place where i'll go and we can just stick this in right in our register method sorry we'll just add this and dusk service provider so with that done we then run this artisan command okay scaffolding is done what this scaffolding does is if we quickly look at the folder structure inside tests there is a browser folder there is pages screenshots and example.test and this is the basic file which is created when we install dusk all right that's that looks quite interesting so we have you know this browse um, function uh, by the way the example test is extending this test case which means you know going forward if we are um, creating any of our own test cases then we should extend this okay and this i guess in return will be extending the base test test case right so anyways so this browse and then we have a browse uh, object and to that we get visit and then laravel all right so my home page is modified as you can see so obviously our basic you know uh, test which was written should fail right uh, let's run run it so the command for that is php artisan desk let us do that php artisan sure enough we get a fail that did not see expected text laravel with element body so which means we need to update this test case basic test case so why don't we do this we have inferno so we'll do that and now it should pass and it does so um you know this is like the basic thing um, and now let us look at how we can do a check on the login okay so i'll create a new function public function test uh, basic login okay uh, let us copy this part 
and then we will hit this which is fine and then there is a method called type if you look at the docs that is you know interacting with elements and we have uh, you know retrieve the values retrieving text sorry yes type so we name the field and we tell the value that's what we are going to do so in type i'll have email as my email address okay and sorry type and then i have password as password and then we again have a method called click you know the api is in that sense very easy to understand uh, whatever is the action there is actually a you know uh, method for that now we need to ho get hold of the button in this page i think this is btn primary and that class can be used yes because these are btn social so we can target that or you can add an uh, id as well but for now btn primary works so btn primary so we do a click and then like this we tell the browser that we as assert to see something called dashboard okay the reason is when i log in i see this dashboard and then control panel so we should see that right okay uh, so this is our test case run it it opens it fills up the form and yeah so um, if you want to see the behavior let me open up terminal which i have this is this is my item terminal is this okay i'll squeeze it down okay so that we see the browser so um php artisan dusk and you can see a new browser window opening the form is filled and we get the dashboard okay and so we can extend from this so this is our login uh, similarly we can do a logout right function test user logout in this again let us first copy this okay and we'll visit the dashboard then let us first get rid of these once we go to the dashboard we assert to see that we are on the dashboard first okay let's do that after that we need to somehow get hold of this right and there's right now no way of doing it so why don't we go to our you know um, layout which is uh, top nav dot blade and there i have drop drop down toggle right so let me search for this not this no no should have the image yeah this one user account style can be found in okay yeah so in here we will add a id which is let's say what can it be user drop down menu okay and also i'll i'll add an id on this not this image but um yeah why don't we do this this is going to be here okay and um, 
logout button is this one so id is logout button yeah that should so first we need to click on this so we will go get hold of that using this id okay and then we click on this a tag so yeah oh yes yes uh, so this id will actually come here i'm getting a bit confused because of the markup um, let's see uh, first we'll edit this and okay add this one let's see what is the markup <clears throat> all right so class i need to click on this and i don't have any id which is not going to work user menu so this is the wrong place this li is closing here okay do we have the logout button with that pro proper class id is this yes that we have managed to do but this is the drop down menu so why are you expanded is true class drop down user drop down menu okay so we got that in the li where is our li yeah so instead of this we will push it here and that should work right a tag with this yeah sorry about that so we have an a tag with this id and when we click on it we get this drop down and inside that we have this button which is logout button so we can write the test um, quickly <coughs> add that so on click of id this okay and what happened? then we click the logout button so that's going to be this okay we click that and then we click the logout button and then we assert to see inferno again and then if we try to visit let's say the dashboard okay we then there is another method called assert don't see and in that we say we should not see the text dashboard okay um and then why don't we do one thing there is also one method called sleep or wait i think wait was the method waiting for elements pause okay yes so why don't we do a pause of around two seconds so that we can see what is happening right um we open our terminal and let's watch so the first test then the second is login I click log out and yes it is working let us keep it here and then we will be able to see what is exactly happening I guess yeah so terminal first second okay it was fast but anyway so you got the point so you see this is the beauty of you know uh, dusk I find it very interesting that you know i can write these uh, test cases and it's actually a you know browser based uh, testing uh, where you know it waits for all the api calls and you know once they are there you know we can assert our tests and make sure that our app doesn't break so yeah i'm quite excited about this and i'm gonna explore more um, and you know whenever i find anything interesting i will keep you updated 
Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.